Well guys, we finally got ourselves a nice day to go shooting and wouldn't you know the wind's blowing about 50k. Gust into 60k. Nate and I are down here at the farm. We're going to shoot some pews. I mentioned in one of the last videos that uh, we were down here and we were just throwing some lead at some glass bottles and stuff like that and we expended a fair bit of ammo. Uh, where I told you then we're not going to do that anymore. From now on when we come out we're actually going to shoot with a purpose. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be engaging a target at 12 feet from a low ready position. Today I brought out my SKS. It's chambered at 762 by 39 uh, Nathan's also got his 12 gauge pump action, two and three quarter inch shotgun. And before I demonstrate, as you can see, this weapon is unloaded. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting at a low ready position. We're going to come up, engage the target with two rounds, and back down to low ready. Prior to going back down to low ready, we're going to scan for threats. We'll show you that in a minute. Also, brought limited rounds today because we're not just down here throwing lead around and getting rid of ammo. That's not the goal today. The ammo crisis that's going on within the states and also probably Canada here, things are getting a little scarce. We gotta conserve what we can, but you still gotta practice. So we're gonna practice today with limited ammo, but we're gonna get the most out of the practice. All right guys, I got two rounds. So it'll run dry when it's done. We're gonna do two rounds, center mass, scan for a threat, and then go back to low ready. So again, I hope you can hear me. I apologize again for the wind. We're at about 12 feet. Again, we're going to get your stance ready. You're going to be at the low ready. And then you're going to come up, engage the target, scan for a threat, and then back down. Ready? Alright guys, let's go have a look and see how we did. As you see, it's a stable platform. Well, actually, you probably can't tell much, but I'm standing on a hill there. Let's see how we did. All right. Here, here, here. Those ones are really nice. And these ones here. They're all in the center mass square. So some of you watching may be saying, okay, while well, you're 12 feet from a target with a rifle, how, how are you gonna miss that? The idea is for speed and accuracy, but smoothness at the same time. So you wanna come up and get on target, you're pulling the trigger. So what that's doing is you're getting the rounds down range quickly without trying to use your eyes and sit here and try and acquire the target. It's all muscle memory. So you'll practice that at 10, 12, 15 feet, then you'll move back and do it a little more. The further back you go, the harder it is to engage the target with both eyes open, obviously. You wanna go back to one eye the further you get back. One thing I should mention is, I, like I said, I'm using the SKS, the 762 by 39 That's a pretty big round. This pew is heavy. Now here in Canada, they're about to outlaw the ARs in order to even own one is a chore in itself. Those that do have them are right now not allowed to use them. For example, things are bad enough that if I own a handgun and I own a thousand acres of property, I cannot even go out on my own property with that and use it. They're coming for them. It's that simple, they're coming for them. Anyway, right now they haven't come for this one yet, nor will they get it. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna do some more. We're gonna do two to the chest, one to the head. So now we're gonna be doing three shots scan for the threat, and then back to low ready. Practice the fundamentals first. The low ready, up to on target, scan, back to low ready. Repetition. I haven't done this in a long time, so I don't think I'm doing too bad, but we're about to find out, because I'm gonna go two to the chest, one to the head. So again, get your stance. I don't know if you can tell, but I am standing on a hill. Arms tucked, get your stance, lean into it. In. Back to low ready. All right, guys, we're now on to the next stage. So you've already, we're trying to get proficient with coming up, sending the rounds, scanning, coming back to low ready. Okay, you don't want to come back too quick. Make sure you've scanned for the threats. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to send two rounds down. As we're scanning, you want to move, okay? You want to get off the tracks. I know this is basic. Some of you are new to this, so that's what we're going to do. Your stance is solid. Your arms are locked in, you got your swivel, so you're gonna scan and you're gonna move. This is why I don't stand with my feet close together, because I wanna be able to have them offset so that I can take a step. 
All right, so we're gonna do that now. Okay, so we're back at the 15 foot mark now. I have my stance. I'm gonna lock my arms. I'm gonna bring it up on target, send the two rounds, scan, and then move. Weapon's empty. Okay, guys, when you're moving, do not cross your legs over top of each other. You wanna move, shuffle side to side. The terrain that we're in out here, there's a lot of sticks and branches and garbage laying around. If you start crossing your legs over, you're gonna end up tripping yourself, falling down, now you've got yourself in another jam. What you wanna do is keep your stance and shuffle side to side. So guys, this is all about practice. Muscle memory, up, shoot, scan, move, all at the same time, okay? So you're shooting, you're scanning and moving. So we're gonna get Nate to try it here. Nate has never done this before, so you're not gonna go as fast. Okay, take it off safe. And go. Scan, I'm back down. Well, my GoPro died at the most inopportune time, so now I have to take the big camera off. Let's go see what he did. Okay, so we got one here, and then one right here. So both in center mass. Now as we practice more and more with that, the speed will come with that. You gotta get the accuracy first and the speed. You start whipping the pew around and next thing you know you got rounds going everywhere. You want center mass. So this time here what we're gonna do is we're gonna load it up. Nate's gonna go two to the chest, one to the head in the same methodical fashion that he just did. Scan for a threat, back to low ready. Now he just asked me a question off camera there. Is he going all the way around? No, you're not. You're on target. You're going to scan a little left, a little right. Wherever your eyes go, the gun goes. And go. You didn't scan. Scan. And folks, when you're doing this, don't get flustered if you forget to scan. This is why we practice, okay? This is why we train. So you come out, you forget it. I just reminded Nate that he forgot to scan. So you go back and you scan. Let's see how he did. All right, guys, I forgot to mark off what he did here. Obviously, he did all right there. That's the one to the head. We got one, two, three, four, five. I'll be sure to mark those off this time. So now what he did was he got them all in center mass and got the one to the head, took out his cheekbone. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, guys, so like I said, we come up with 20 rounds of 7.62. We're down to two got some decent training with just 20 rounds and that's the whole goal for today is to get some training in with limited rounds spent because we all know ammo's getting hard to find that's the last thing we're going to do with the rifle we got two rounds left this time we're going to do one to the chest one to the head oh i'm doing this go All right, guys, so we were doing one to the chest, one to the head. We got one right here, one right between the lookers. Uh, most definitely would be lights out. I said this is Nate's first time doing this. He's never done any course of fire or anything like that. So we didn't do any moving today. We just did the static shooting. And that's kind of where we're going to leave that. With. All right, guys, that's going to end the video. We had to finish the video in the truck. The wind got so bad, the branches were falling off the dead trees and excuses I know but anyway that's a little bit of training I wanted to give a little bit of instruction uh, if you like that kind of video let me know uh, I got plenty more drills that I can show you I like I explained we come up with 20 rounds of 762 and that's all we brought we didn't bring any more for the simple fact that we don't want to waste ammo anymore because it's getting hard to come by if you own a firearm it's your responsibility to make sure you are proficient with that firearm that you know how to use it you know how to clean it disassemble assemble but responsible use if you don't have training you need to seek some training somewhere anyway that's it that's all i got for today's video hope you enjoyed it so again if you like that type of video i've got plenty more drills that i can show you uh, we like making these kind of videos and again i told you we're not wasting ammo anymore it's about using your ammo efficiently as opposed to just wasting it we are limited here in canada with the firearms that we can have and we can use and that's a whole new subject that I don't really need to get into. But 
If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. If you haven't already done so, make sure you ring the bell so that you get notified each and every time I upload a video. And if you don't mind, please leave me a thumbs up because YouTube does not like these videos. Anyway, you all have an awesome day. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.